Hello everyone. I am back with this um, Christmas ring binder. I um, I wound up finishing the front and I am happy with it. I'm can still considering maybe adding some um, silver uh, this stuff, Inca gold around it, but I haven't decided. I decided I would wait a little bit to see if I needed any extra little bit. Um, I wound up doing the closure with this little cr crab, lobster hook, lobster claw, crab, <laughs> lobster claw hook. Um, and I just used a large jump ring around that bit and attached it with a smaller jump ring. And I want to come back and make my first embellishment. So this is going to be an envelope that goes in that first section. And this is the paper I chose. It's from the Crafts Consortium. And um, I want it to be a gusseted envelope. So it's got to have a top flap and a bottom flap. I'm not going to worry that this is upside down and this is not or whatever. Well, maybe I should. If I put them both, if I make this the flap, it'll be right side up. And if this comes around, it will also, eh, maybe I will worry about that. Okay. So this is going to be the top. This is going to be the bottom, and I want to have a gusset down the center. This is a score pal scoreboard. It's the 12 by 12. Um, when I went to purchase this, I debated between the smaller size and the bigger size. I'm thoroughly happy with this size. So I want the bottom of it to have a little bit of a spine. So this is the center at six. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, I think you can. Six inches in the center. So if I do... Um, an eighth of an inch on either side, then that will be a quarter inch kind of spine at the bottom. Um, so then I didn't do that. I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. I think... I can cut this down. All right, so I'm gonna score this. At two. Ah, I just really messed that up. That's okay, it's gonna work. We're gonna make this work. I'm gonna score this at two. And at 10. And since this is going to be the top flap, I'm also going to score it at a quarter to mirror the gusset at the bottom. All right, let's see how this goes. So now this one. I'm going to wind up cutting off. Ooh. I think I can just, oh, I'll, I'll cut this. I'm going to cut it, cut it just below the fold. Okay. And I'm also going to have to shorten it. But let's see if I can get the all these folds done properly. So there's my little spine gusset. And this is going to come down like that. And then this is going to, oh no, I must have pressed too hard. Hmm. Well, that won't do. Could reinforce it with some lace. I, have to, I haven't gotten out my laces yet. Okay, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so that's gonna be an envelope. This, um, I'm going to need uh, a little bit of a of a an adapter so that it can we can do the holes for the um, cover, which is where where did I just put the cover? 
Oh, actually, I don't need the cover. I need the template. Here's my template. So that is how tall it needs to be. Oh, I wonder, can I get away with... No, it's going to be right there no matter what. Okay. So I'm just going to make a little mark... Top. Let's see, I want it to go this way. Pencil. So I need to cut that down. Like so. And then I need to cut my adapter down as well. Let me just mark it and then I will snip it. I'm just going to trim that fold off too. Okay. So now let's think about the width of the whole thing. So if this is my template that's going to get in, put in there, and then This will go here. It's a little tall, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, that's okay. We can fix that really easily, can't we? Needs to be cut right there. Like that. And then I'll cut that down. But that height this way is going to be just fine. I just need to cut this down. I wonder, can I cut off that broken bit? Where's that broken bit? Right there. Oh, that's going to work out perfectly. The little hole I had in there from being a little too aggressive with the scoreboard is going to get snipped right off. Voila. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to mark my holes. Is this the template that I was using or was I using the other one? This is not the one I was using because this is too big. Hmm. I have mislaid my other template. Oh, that's such a bother. That's okay. Because I can mark right on here where I need the holes to go. There and there. The trouble with making these marks is it's so hard to see them. There. And. There. And then I have a whole bunch of these eyelets. They're 3 16 eyelets that I order in bulk. Um, they're not Tim Holtz, but they work beautifully. And I do want this contrasting pattern to show. So 
I'm just going to squish those down. And squish that down. Beautiful. And then this can go on here. And this can go on here. And then I will just glue that gusseted envelope, which I haven't put the gussets on. I'll show you the gussets in a second. That will just go like that. Oh, you know what? I wanted to do a tab. That's okay. I can still do a tab. Where's my tab punch? Here's my tab punch. That's not the tab punch I want to use. This is the tab punch I want to use because it does a double tab punch. Let's see, will that fit? Ha ha ha, it will. Just position it to get the bits that I want. Oh, I kind of like that. So I get as much of those pictures in as possible. Okay, now I'm going to steal an idea from Jessica Rapp. So what she did is she did this beautiful, brilliant thing where she put, she used one of these slot punches and she put a slot punch hole in her tab I'm going to put a slot punch hole in there and then I'm going to glue this on here and I'll put a slot punch in right underneath here when I glue it in and then the ribbon I'll, I'll close it up with a ribbon so I'm very excited about this prospect so where is my glue yes I still I know I need to make gussets I'll make those in a sec so happy Monday everyone hope everybody had a decent Monday I was joking all day today. Today was Monday, Thursday for me because tomorrow's Tuesday, Friday <laughs> because it's a two day work week because it is Thanksgiving week. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to kind of mostly center it, but not, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to just, what will matter is that this lines up with that. Okay. So there's my slot for my ribbon. And then I'm going to have to glue this to this and I'm going to glue some gussets in here and I can just use the same paper or I have this one too. That's about the right, that's a, kind of the perfect height actually. That's kind of fun. Okay, so let me think about how this works for a second so I don't mess it up. I'm just going to fold this in half and cut it in half. I'm gonna make a little snip there and I'm going to just cut that in half. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just gonna be hidden inside. So I'm going to fold this in half back. I'm going to fold that in half and then I'm going to fold these back like that and fold this back like that. So I'm going to wind up with a W. Now this is the part I always mess up. I'm going to fold this in half. I'm going to fold each little wing back. So I can never remember <laughs> which side faces inside the envelope and which side faces out. I know I've got two W's, but does it go like that? Or does it go like that? I think it goes like that. I think. I 
yeah 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 that's how it goes the the yeah okay so this is the down oh i sh i should have uh, uh, uh it helps if you miter the edges right is that right i think that's right we'll see won't we let's go for it be adventurous Okay, so that one's going to go right along that edge there. Do you see that? And then I'm going to do this one too. So I'm going to miter the edges. And then I'm going to have it facing in. I'm going to glue this down. And I want this edge to line up with this edge. Like that. A million people have done this. This is, this is nothing new. Under the sun. It's just my take. Do I want a thumb? I think I do want a thumb. A little thumb hole there before I glue it down. And I want an inky edge. What do I want to ink with? I have tumbled glass. I have vintage photo. And I have speckled egg. Let's try the speckled egg. It's like a perfect match. It's such a perfect match that it really doesn't really provide any um, contrast. So, oh, why am I? It was all tidy not too long ago. And I seem to have lost my template and my vintage photo applicator doohickey. I usually keep them all here in this little bin. Yesterday it was my scissors. I found the scissors. Ugh. All right. Never mind. Moving on. I'm going to glue this down now, right? That's my next step. Gluing it down. Yes, that is my next step gluing this down. So what I'll do is I will just put the glue on both of these flaps. And then when I just close the, um, the front of the envelope, it should glue into place perfectly. Like that. Yay. See? Yeah, and we have a nice little place, useful spot to put things. Like Winnie the Pooh has a useful pot to put things in. It's a useful spot to put things in. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, I shouldn't close that quite yet. So now I want to glue this onto here. I think I want to round those corners. Here and here. 
like that. And I think I want to round these corners as well. And when I find my vintage photo um, applicator, such a mystery. Did it fall on the floor? I do not see it. It's probably on the floor. Yeah. Okay. So all of those are rounded. And I'm going to put this back on here. And I'm going to cut, do the same kind of thing where I'm going to put the glue right on here. I'm going to lay this down so that I get it right where I want it. And I think I want it so that you, I can see the, this edge so it's not interfering with, I'm going to try and keep everything so that it doesn't interfere with this circle right here. Granted, that's going to be at the back and this is going to be at the front, but I think that's still my goal is to try and keep it within the confines of this frame. So, right up until I have to refill this, this edge here. That. And then You don't have a whole lot of time with the art glitter glue. Use my bone folder to give that a little bit of a rub and a squish. And we have a super simple gusseted folder. So when I finish this, whatever leftover bits or ephemera or extra things that I haven't stuck in there, I can fill that with goodies. Okay. So then the other thing I have to do, that's what it looks like on the back. Not terrible, not perfect, but not terrible. But I'm not about perfection. I just want to make sure, I just want to put the, this, oh, phooey, I should have done that first. That's okay, it will still work. Can I? No. Okay. All right. Well, note to self, in the future, make this lot first because I can't get it right flush up against the thing there because of the edge of the punch, but that's okay. It will still work. I wonder if I should reinforce that before I cut it. Should I put a little bit of a, maybe a circle? Hold on. Let me find my small circle punch. I have a small circle punch. Do we think that that will fit in that? I think that's the same size. Let's see. I'm going to, this is a test. I'm going to punch this and then punch this. That's, it fits, but it's pretty flimsy. I also have this circle punch. And if I punch this circle and then do a slot in the middle of that, oh, I think that's gonna be better. and then glue that there. All right, so let me make my slot. See, I'm just trying to line it up with that one. And then I will glue that down and it's going to overhang a smidge, but I'll just snip that off. I 
it's just I want to reinforce that little bit of paper a little bit because it's just one thickness of cardstock. Like that. that bit off there. Uh, maybe do a good job. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's find some more ribbon. I have this bin. And I have this ribbon, which goes quite well. Then I also have this really pretty red, pretty red which is probably just a smidge too thick. I have another satin one, but I also have this really pretty velvety. I think I'm going to use that. Okay. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm going to thread this through here. And once again, I have stolen this from Jessica Rapp. Thank you, Jessica. At two silver oranges. I will to remember the link where she showed that she did this. Yeah. And then I'll just make a little bow. And it will be like a little Christmas package inside the journal. I may fiddle with that a little bit more. Let's see how to get it just right. But yeah, fun. I love that slot idea. I'm so thrilled. Oh, everything's falling. That's probably how I lost my other thing. I will look for that. So there we go. There is the next installment of my ring bound Christmas journal. I'm gonna put that there. Yeah. Okay. I hope you are all having a great day and you have a great week. Um, and I expect I'll probably get one more in before Thanksgiving, but if not, happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, well then just have a great week. Bye-bye. Stay safe.